so how much does our yard really look like crap? I mean, the HOA people keep bitching about it. And like, we're doing the best we can. But... We kill we 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 kill grass, and we tend to grow weeds. And I mean, I just I don't know what to do. So we're thinking that we'll make it look better if we just scrape all this out here and put in pine straw, which would be the cheapest route to do this with, but, I mean, I don't know. You think this will be done today? Huh? You think this will be done today? Yeah, it'll be done. I mean, on a scale of like 1 to 10, how pissed are you with the HOA people? 100. That was a scale of 1 to 10. And I said 100. Because <sighs> you got people with a yellow damn house, you got a person with a smurf blue house. Like, really? And I have to deal with this shit? I'm really worried about weeds. Well, I cut these freaking bushes. And I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I hacked it. And your brother hacked this tree. Well, it was it was sliced into the tr it was sliced into the street, so I don't blame him. It he took care of it. My brother did, yeah. Yeah. And they said, well, I need to paint the mailbox. Oh, there's our refuse bags, by the way. And so we're Robertson like Robertson sanitation for the win. <laughs> Robertson sanitation hashtag you suck. So. They told us that we needed to paint the mailbox because it wasn't black enough. So this is what we did. He was like, well, I'm going to go get the black paint. I said, no, screw that. You get a can of spray paint and you spray paint the shit. I did. So then they complained that the white part wasn't white enough. So once again, I got a can of spray paint and I spray painted it. Yeah, that was one for the win. Definitely, definitely love it. There's our refuse bags. Because hashtag Robertson Sanitation, you suck. That's an extra charge. So guess what? We're going to sit there so I can figure out what to do with them. So, I'll probably do an update later. This, is, this was the tester area since they bitched so much about where the mailbox was. So, he went, my husband went on... I think it was Thursday and bought some pine straw because I uh, trimmed the bushes yeah that's my job my fantastic job so I, I trimmed the bushes down and I um, we I I tried to get out as much as the weeds as I could and I I tried to recruit my son to help me and I made it into a competition a healthy competition and he just um he was smarter than that and I said, whoever picks the most bags of weeds won, wins. And um, he was like, I'm hot, I'm going inside. So he wasn't even out here five minutes. Oh, man, I tried to entice him with food and juice and a healthy game of competition, but no. Hey, Mom. So you're helping Daddy pick weeds today, right? Yeah. And do all this? Uh-huh. So what you doing with that water bottle? Is that helping him? So anyway, I'm trying to here's kill the pine straw that we put down. It looks pretty good. I I'm mean, I don't know what else ants. to do with it, but hey, Mama, I'm trying to kill ants. This is our ants. home. You're trying to kill ants. Oh, okay. <sighs> don't come in the street. Um, and I think it looks okay, but we keep getting letters in the mail saying that we're violating section code 31 crap something or other with the weeds and our yard looks like trash, it basically said. And um, once we get all this done, yeah. then they're gonna bitch about something, 
So when they do, I'll drop a rice motor in the E30, and at 5 in the morning, I'm going to fire it up and start high revving it. That's Hubby's new whip, by the way. Hey, Daddy, I'm hoping It is a 1989, there. is it E30? E30. An E30, which is a 3... 3, 325i. It's a 3 series. Let's see if I can get down to it. He's so proud of it. And it runs like a top. It's got 245,000 miles on it. I believe we bought it for a little bit. I guess it was about 1,200, which isn't bad. And I mean, the good news is that we we got it. Oh, there's the Pathfinder. We got it, and. We had to take it home on the highway because there's really no other way to get home unless you take a bunch of back roads and it takes longer. So we took it on the highway, fingers crossed that it wouldn't melt. It went 70 miles an hour. It did a good job. It got him home. I wouldn't drive it. He wanted me to drive it. Um, and it made it home and it went 70 miles an hour. We probably put about 60,000 miles on it yesterday and Jared said that he's been driving it for the last two years to and from work. So, this car has been passed around BMW since 1989, and it's only been through techs and advisors, and people like such as. So, everybody wanted to get their hands on this vehicle, and he was very, Jared was very careful in who he sold it to, and only wanted it to go to my husband. So, um, he's proud of it. So, I guess I will support him and be proud of it too. Um, it's not the best looking car. But it runs, and it's ours, and like I told my mother, it won't be repoed. <laughs> it's the only car that won't be repoed if something were to happen. Here's the inside. It is a little five-speed. The seats have seat covers on them only because they are a little bit ripped. But the back is in pretty much pristine condition. Let me see if I can put it up. I mean, it looks really good for a 1989. It's considered a classic. I guess Jared put in the speaker system. Go dogs. Go dogs. Um, it leaks a little bit of oil, hubby said. Just a little bit. And it's got a cracked windshield. Just a little bit. And it pulls a little bit to the right. And that's pretty much all that's wrong with it other than it's got 245,000 miles on it. The hood, they got it to pull apart because it was starting to rust and as you can see this one's a little bit rusty too. And Jared said that when he was parked near a golf course, somebody parred for the one, for the win, and it hit the headlight and cracked the glass out because the ball and the glass were sitting on the ground. But you can't really tell. I mean, this one has the glass still intact, as you can see, and this one doesn't. But it's still glass, and it still works, so that works. And I guess he, this is Jared put in a custom trim and kept spray painting it, I guess, because it was silver or white. And the rocks keep kicking it up, but that did not come with the car that was custom, and it looked really good. He lowered it about, I don't know, two inches in the front, so it's got that hey, sportier look to it. Not a bad looking Can car. Water the plants. Go water the plants. Have fun. It's not a bad looking car. Jared, um, Jared's wife hit it, so it kind of needs a new bumper. But I'm not worried about it. And it's it's gonna get hubby to and from work. It gets about 25 miles to the gallon, which is not bad. So once we get a new license plate for it, and insurance is cheap. So that's hubby's new whip. He said, "I'll rock the hell out of it." He barely fits in it, but. He loves it, so now let me go get my kid. He says, you wanna drive it? I'm like, no, nah, I feel like it's gonna fall apart on me, but I think it's a pretty sturdy car. I like my car. Mine's a six speed, I love it. I love it, and the story behind my car is that it was a training center car, which is probably a bad thing. Uh, but they, it's, you don't know what they used it for, so when I bought it, it had 300, 300 miles on it. And basically, I don't owe anything on it except for tires. So all the service is taken care of. Um, it's silver. It is two-door, but it's nice. It's brand new. I mean, it's, it's, it's a six-speed manual transmission. 
It has a sunroof. Beautiful. There's the front of it. It's a 228. I'm proud of it. I love it. Yep. I've only had to fill it up twice. <laughs> I've put about 900 miles on it. So, yeah, it gets better, way better gas mileage than my other car. And I'm proud of it. I've gotten some compliments on it. It's not bad looking. I just wish it had my seat warmers in it. I miss my seat warmers, and I wish that it um, was four-door, but other than that, I love it. Everybody was asking me yesterday at BMW, how do you love it? I love it. So when you buy a training center car, you don't exactly know what you're getting, which is why I was really glad that they are going to take care of the service for me. Um, I guess perks of being a wife to an employee there. But they um, basically, the techs work on this car to learn how to work on BMWs. Um, and I wouldn't have bought it if, if the service wasn't covered because like I said you don't really know what you're getting and it only had 300 miles on it and they could have done everything from working on the engine to um, taking apart a door so I don't we don't know it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it it runs great so service is covered so with that maybe I'll have a follow-up video on how the yard looks later on but um so yeah this is what we're doing right now And uh, hubby said, yeah, it's getting hot out here. I said, yeah, it's called global warning due to hubby's not wearing a shirt and working out in the yard. That's what global warning warming to me is. Oh, that looks like crap over there. Keep watering the weeds, honey. You're doing a great job. I love you. He loves doing that. No lie, one more story. When he graduated pre-K, like, I didn't know what to get him, and I know he loves spray bottles, like, he's always loved them since he was a little kid, so I bought him a little 97-cent spray bottle from Walmart, and it's his favorite summer toy. He loves it. You fill it up, and he will seriously, seriously spray all the water out in just minutes. Um, that one in particular is from Home Depot. Show everybody what you got, baby. What you got there? You love it? Is that your favorite toy? You have fun with that, baby. Oh, bye. Daddy's calling him. All right, well, I better hop to and help out. Kids have sunscreen on, so. Can you say hi, Maddie? Can you say hi? Say hi. Hey, I'm all wet with sunscreen. Okay, well, we're signing off, and we're going to go hit the shade. Yeah. Okay. Say bye-bye. Bye. Very good.